DJ Stosh here. Uh, this time I am broadcasting from Maine. This is something I have not done before, sort of taking this show on the road. Uh, my family came up here for a winter vacation early January, and we decided to uh, do a little bit shop, bit of shopping. Actually, I did. I decided to do some record shopping. I'm not sure everybody else was that into it, but believe it or not, the wife did buy some records this time, so I'll be showing those. Um, Portland is an interesting town, especially for record shopping. It's quite different from Florida. Uh, it's a lot of smaller shops, mainly. Uh, there was one larger store called Bull Moose that's sort of like an FYE that I'll be getting into later. But uh, mostly here in Portland, uh, the record stores and places where you could find vinyl were all scattered along Congress Street in downtown. So uh, a lot of smaller shops, um, spent a little bit of time in, in most of them. There were a couple I didn't get to, Electric Buddha was one, I can't remember the others, but uh, I'm going to go through uh, all of these record stores and show you some of the purchases that I made at each one. Okay, so first up is Moody Lords on Congress Street, and at Moody Lords I found the following records. Um, Nick Hayward postcards, an album from 86 that I've never seen before. Uh, the first Ultimate album, sort of a disco funk band in really nice shape. I have their second album, I haven't seen the first one anywhere. Uh, two Miko albums, I found Miko Superman. And also Miko Music from Star Trek and Music from the Black Hole. These are both albums that I was looking for to complete my Miko collection, and I think I actually have pretty much all of them now. Uh, I was really excited to find this one, Will Success Spoil Mrs. Miller, which I believe is her first album. I hear some snickers from the background. And uh, Giants of the Organ in Concert, Jimmy McGriff and Groove Holmes, a double album. And then finally, uh, a Record Store Day release, I believe, from one or two years ago. This is Hawkwind's eponymous album. Uh, and I believe that this pressing was only on orange vinyl. And I meant to pick that up during Record Store Day when it came out, only I wasn't able to get a copy. So uh, for $17, I found a sealed brand new copy of that record. Um, Moody Lords was a great place. I really liked the owner there. Uh, it was very well curated. They had a great jazz section. I probably could have spent more time in there digging, uh, but it was rather close to closing time when I got there. I think I spent about an hour and came up with those finds. So it was a very, very impressive store for me. Okay, <clears throat> excuse me. The second store that I visited was also on Congress Street. Uh, it's actually downstairs. You have to go in through the front entrance on the street level and walk down a flight, and it's in the basement of a large building. And it was the biggest store that I went to. This was uh, Bull Moose, and they had a huge selection of CDs there. They have a lot of video games, DVDs, Blu-rays. Um, like I said before, it's similar to an FYE, if you've ever been to one of those types of stores, or the old Virgin Mega stores from back in the day. And um, they did have a large vinyl selection, but I walked right past it when I went in, and it was to my right and I went straight into the store, so I was about to leave disappointed, and my wife said, did you check the vinyl? And I looked over and saw that there was a huge selection of vinyl there. So I felt really stupid after that. Uh, but the vinyl that I found was mostly in the markdown bins. They do have a, a very large selection of new vinyl, um, and the prices seemed pretty competitive, but um, I, I found some really interesting stuff in their markdown bins, so here's what I brought back. Uh, First of all, I found a, I'm not sure what this is, Beyond Spectra by Saturn. It's on purple vinyl, 75% off. It's about 25 bucks new. Uh, next was a band with a, a fake chihuahua on the cover, Low Tom. Wearing sunglasses, I might add. Uh, Candida Cosmica, Patrick Cowley and Candida. This was 75% off. Looked like some interesting electronic music. These two I was really happy to find. Um, Game Theory's The Big Shot Chronicles on lime colored vinyl. This is a reissue from last year. That was 50% off of 1797. And also Game Theory's Two Steps from the Middle Ages on orange vinyl. Uh, both of these records I had back in the 80s and somehow 
Um, just ended up trading them at some point because they weren't very good copies. So these are reissues and I was really happy to see those. And then finally, some band called LNZNDRF or Lensdorf. This was 75% off. It's a uh, single on the 4AD label. It has Green Roses and Salida. I'm not exactly sure what that is, but since it was so cheap, I just decided to take a risk on it. So those are my purchases from uh, Bull Moose. Okay, the next store that I visited was called the Portland Flea for All, which was a uh, large indoor antique mall kind of a big open space and then you walk down a ramp and you get to another section of the store and tucked all the way in the corner of that huge building is a section of vinyl. I don't know if it was one vendor or more vendors. I'm not really sure who the vendors were, but I took a couple of photos of it. Um, went through quite a, a few bins of vinyl and didn't really come up with too much, but buried down in the bottom of one of the lower bins was a sealed copy of We Are ANC, Arling and Cameron's third record which I have actually been looking out for. This was $8. It's got a couple of bins and creases on it, but uh, I'm sure it's gonna be fine. So that was kind of a neat thing to find there. And then uh, the next one that I went to was Strange Main, which is literally across the street from the Flea For All. Um, and that store is pretty small, but it has a lot of older vinyl, uh, has a lot of video games inside and just different kinds of paraphernalia. And really, uh, the only thing I found in there were a couple of CDs. I found a Mountain Goat CD, the Sunset Tree, and a Prefuse 73 CD. Uh, this one's called Vocal Studies and Uprock Narratives. So not a lot there. Um, they did have a pretty good selection of things, just not really that many things I was interested in. Uh, I found the CDs to be a little bit more fascinating than the vinyl. Next store that I stopped at was called The Merchant Company, which was across the street from a bookstore called The Green Hand. Uh, at The Merchant Company, uh, I found a Jethro Tull Rock Island in, in really excellent condition for $8, and they had quite a few other albums there. I'd say it was one of the larger selections of vinyl that I browsed through, but this was all I was able to come up with on that trip. Uh, the next to the last place that I went to was uh, called Enterprise Records, which is off of Park Street, which is, again, right off of Congress Street. And it, um, the gentleman who owns that place has owned it for a long time. He's very nice. And that is a very well-curated store. Um, I found the Diva soundtrack there for $5, actually $5.25. I've been looking for this. It's great music. A uh, new copy of the church's latest album, Man, Woman, Life, Death, Infinity, which is on white vinyl, um, which has a little bit of a corner crease down at the bottom, but other than that, it looks like it's in excellent shape. Um, the Osmonds, The Plan, in shrink wrap for $5.25. And Chris found um, folk music of the United States, some um, folk songs by Plain or Comanche, Cheyenne, Kiowa, Caddo, Wichita, and Pawnee Indians field recordings. And the language and music of the wolves narrated by Robert Redford, which I mentioned um, our cat and two dogs might get really interested in this when we clean the vinyl and start playing it. I can't wait to see how that's going to work out. And then finally, to wrap up this video, I went back by Bull Moose last night because they had um, a sale on some of their Iron Maiden vinyl and it was it was really cheap. It was $15 for each of these reissues. So uh, let's see in chronological order here. I got um, Iron Maiden, The X Factor, the much maligned album with Blaze Bailey. Uh, also the other much maligned album with Blaze Bailey, Virtual Eleven which I don't even have these on CD, but they're really hard to find on vinyl, so they were all reissued last year. Dance of Death, another one I don't even have on CD. And uh, let's see, A Matter of Life and Death. And then finally, The Final Frontier. So these are all super nice heavyweight pressings. Uh, each one's a double vinyl set. 
and they were all marked at $28.97 and 50% off. So I couldn't pass up that deal and decided to go back and get them. Now the problem is going to be packing them up on a plane and getting all this vinyl back to Florida. But I'll figure out a way. Uh, thanks for watching. It's been a pleasure. And uh, I will catch up with you guys again later.